Another segment on the show tonight. We're joined now by our high school insider, Steve Schremming and Jeff Robinson from Excel Sports. They are here tonight, hey, and good to see you guys. Mm -hmm. Good to see you as well, Jeff. And um, it's kind of interesting. I mean, you know, we said in one of our lead-ins tonight about how who would have thought we were not talking about Warren Central, mm -hmm. not talking about Ritter tonight, and now we're talking about teams that I kind of felt kind of went under the radar, and, you know, as far as with Avon, mm -hmm. and uh, now you look at Fishers as well. And um, what's your, your thoughts about tonight and what we've seen, the, the winners coming out tonight? Well, I, I think when Warren Central and Ben Davis and – Carmel and Center Grove all went out. And then, of course, with the other classes, the 4As, 3As, and 2As, and every, they lost a, a loss of life. I think it gave a lot of kids a lot of hope and said, let's go out and let's work really hard at that this week. And, uh, you know, and, and, they're, and they're winning. And now they have, they have something that they can, that's within their grasp now. So I think sectional titles are huge for high schools, don't you? And yeah, absolutely. Uh, to grab, grab a sectional title, now they can relax a little bit, breathe a little bit, yeah. for they haven't breathed in three weeks. Go out to that regional. The rest of it is gravy train. And how about Avon? I mean, the yeah. teams they play to get where they are now, going up against an LC team mm -hmm. that already beat Warren Central, that's going to be a great matchup next week, right? But we already knew Avon had the talent to do what they've done. No, no, I knew they had the talent. Remember? <laughs> okay, okay. But with you players like... Out. <laughs> Well, Jeff, you had Warren Central. Let's stick with yeah, that. Okay. 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 No, no need to change right. now, but go but ahead. But there's still Dominique right. Blackman on that Avon team. That's right, yeah. But go ahead, I'm finishing your answer. No, I, we knew Avon had the talent to go this far. We knew Fishers had the talent to go this far. We shouldn't really be that shocked, but we got so used to the Mick teams after nine straight state titles, it's easy to fall in love with the Mick like that. That's right. So now as we look ahead, getting ready for the regionals, um, Speedway coming back yes. um, tonight and getting that victory for them. Um, the Spark Plugs, after beating Ritter, they're still moving on. They're Your still moving thoughts on, about them. They? Uh, and also remember, after tonight, Shenandoah is now a definite factor in that sectional with Cardinal Ritter, with Speedway, with Heritage Christian from this point forward. Num uh, Zach York and Zach Cole, two fine athletes. they got some seniors there, but a lot of their other kids are juniors. Uh, I think that uh, Speedway's got something to shoot for now. They've been North Putt next week. Over North Putt will be a humongous game. I mean, North Putt knows how to bring them in. There was like 2,500 people at Speedway tonight. That's great. And yes. what about Fishers? Can Fishers, can they go all the way? Can they get to Lucas Oil? Fishers is now the team I'm going to ride to Lucas Oil. <laughs> really? I'm going to take them. And why is that? Uh, it's the power is right here in central Indiana, the way I've looked at it, and history steps with that. But I think Fishers might be the best team or might be riding the highest high to get all the way. Aren't you glad that's on tape? Yeah. I am yeah. too. Ride, yeah. ride the Fishers. I don't know if Fishers want him rooting for him because we saw what happened yeah. Warren Central. So, I mean, but you know yeah. what? Sorry, yeah. Rick. <laughs> you know, hey, you know what? I, I think the game, though, with Avon and, and, and LC mm -hmm. is going to be really telling because I think whoever wins that game could possibly uh, get to Lucas Oil and, and, and possibly win the entire thing. But you also look up north. Valpo is Mishawaka. Mishawaka has now owned Penn four straight games. That's going to be a telling tale. Fishers has to go to play Snyder up north. They, 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 they concentrate on Snyder because Valpo and uh, Mishawaka sitting away. Avon, what, Flo uh, Castle and Bloomington North, both teams are 6-6. Six and six. Six. Who would have thought how, that? How many 6-6 six yeah. six regionals well, yeah. have we seen? Yeah, well, hold on. Wait a minute. Let's read the score for you tonight. Time now for the score of the night. <laughs> Take it away, uh, Steve. Actually, yeah. I think that you should read that since that's your alma mater. It's yes, yours. how about that? Evansville Bossy, the Bulldogs, beat Evansville Memorial, the Tigers, 21-14. to 14. And that's how it was when I was back in school. We never lost to Evansville. Here we go. So here we go. 21 to 14. Uh, Evansville Boston would be at Indian Creek mm -hmm. next week. So we'll probably send Chopper out there somewhere. So learn, learn the name <laughs> learn the name Daryl Killebrew. <laughs> learn the name Jordan Diggs. Learn the name Jaden Pendleton from Evansville Boston because AC is going to be talking about them until they get out of this tournament now. I couldn't tell you uh, who, even, right. who even the coach was. All right. All right. We're going to take a break. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you coming in. Thanks. ExcelSports.com. Check out their website. Everything you need to know about high school sports. All right, we're going to take a break. Next year on Hoosier Friday Night Overtime, we'll crown our final athlete of the week of the season. Yeah, it's our final show tonight, so stick and stay for that. Coming up after this. Some graphic elements for Hoosier Friday Night and Hoosier Friday Night Overtime provided by Sport Graphics.
Who's your Your Friday Night Overtime Athlete of the Week is brought to you by Ortho Indy. All right, time now for the Ortho Indy Athlete of the Week. Last week, Speedway finally snapped their six-game losing streak against Ritter, and a big reason why was sophomore quarterback Austin Angela. The quarterback had 178 yards passing with two huge touchdown passes. Austin Angela, the final Ortho Indy Athlete of the Week this season. Season. All right. So here, <laughs> before we wrap things up, uh, we're going to our final thoughts. Here's our final Hoosier Friday yeah. overtime uh, sh show, and um, that's it until next year, of course, for football. But you know, it's, hey, been, we fun. Just, it's been fun, right? I love all the surprises this year. Yeah, we talked about the make going down. No, yeah. Who knows who's going to step yeah. up and win? And to see schools like Bloomington North and Fishers win their first ever sectional titles, that's awesome. That's right. I love it. Real quick, we got 15 uh, seconds. Yeah, when I was over at Avon, one of the assistant coaches looked over at me right before that field goal, and he said, this is what it's all about. Couldn't write a better ending, and I agree. It's been all fun. right. Well, a big thank you to everybody. Thanks to the guys here, Steve and Jeff as well. Comedy relief. These that's guys. right, yeah. <laughs> And all the information that gave us. Thank you to our producer, Mike Thompson, our interns as well, and the entire crew here on Who's the Friday Night Overtime. Thanks for watching us, everybody. We'll see you. Have a good one.